Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Greg. My name's Garrett. My name's Gavin. And this is Puddle Walkers Outdoors. All right guys, we are here on location at our favorite crappie creek. We're here guys to get on some fall crappie. In the fall time guys, the crappie will uh, leave the lakes, they'll come up into the creeks just like they do in the spring for a last little winter feeding before they head back out into the depths. Today we're gonna get in here and see if we can't pop a few of them. All right guys, sometimes if you wanna catch some crappie in the creek, you gotta put in some distance. We'll probably do about uh, seven or 800 yards today. See if we can't catch us enough to have us a nice lunch. All right guys, stay tuned. Cool, cool. I figured there'd be something here. Yeah, right there. Nice bass, Gavin. Yeah, he's got a nice, nice oh. spotted bass here. Or we got a large mouth. Oh. Nice, yeah. nice large mouth. Yeah, yeah. Look at that creek bass, guys. Nice, First one on the new lure. All right, we're back here looking for crappie and. Gavin finds him the largemouth. Oh, got some planks? He didn't hit it that hard. Smoked that jig? Ah, uh, never mind, I got it. Okay. Yeah, I got. I won that from the uh, in the bass fishing team in the tournament. It's a good one. It's cold, but yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad, bad at bad. all. Not a bad creek largemouth. Really starting to really starting to see some footprints. Some people's definitely been back in here, but I tell you what, I don't see a lot of footprints. No. Nobody, nobody decided to take the weeds this year. No. They all stayed real tight to this bank line right here. And man, is it soft. Gotta be something moving up on them rocks over there. Yeah, right there, big crappie. Ah, little guy. Crappie though. Yeah, I was gonna say. First find of the day. Sweet. That's what we're looking for, guys. Now let's find something that we can eat. Ah, I said it. Oh, look at him. He's got your crappie, dude. He has a crappie. Look at that guy. Got a whole got a whole crappie in his mouth. Good luck with that mill, buddy. I'm almost positive that's the one you just caught, dude. <laughs> Alright guys, love the Helgramite, but the crappie are short striking it. So I don't think I need to change my jig head, but I do need to put a crappie jig on. Hoping maybe we can find a trap, big crappie. And that's what we're doing today, guys. So fall time, these crappie will get active in the creeks. A lot of times they will come into the creeks, but this fall was dry, so we didn't get the water flux for the crappie to come up into here. So what we got to do is we got to walk this back far enough to where the creek and the lake have access to each other, and then that's where we'll find our crappie. So this is where they're wanting to go. They're wanting to come up in here before the winter. Yeah, come up in here, they're gonna feed up, they're gonna get fat. But you have to have access to the lake, you know, in order for that to happen. Come in here in the spring, spawn, they leave for the summer, they come back one more time in the fall. If you time it out right, you catch a lot of crappie in the fall time. A lot of the places in the creeks that you would catch them in uh, your springtime creeks. 
right there was a big old catfish. Look at that. Poor guy got stranded on the bank. You can see his whiskers. He wasn't bad. That was a decent cat right there. This tree right here can be amazing in the springtime when there's enough water around it. You can see now the water's really low. I don't know if there's even any fish around it. It looks super, super, super low. You can probably go up in there and find 900 of our jigs. I lost so many jigs to that tree. All right, let's go up here to our first big corner. Hopefully it's got enough water to have some fish in it. Yeah. Doing exactly what I said I wouldn't do, guys. Going far without catching any fish. All right, guys. Up on our first good corner. This is usually a pretty good spot to find some, but again, this water is down really low. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to find any crappie, at least uh, like we're trying to find. Hey, dude, that ground is so soft, it's miserable. Some bass in there. Pretty nice bass right there, looks like, or a crappie, one of the two. I got him. Yeah, that's a nice bass. Nice. Nice creek largemouth, guys. Check him out. It's probably about 13, maybe 14 inches. Not bad at all. I mean, we came out here, guys, looking for crappie. But, I mean, if we keep catching bass like this, I'm a pretty happy guy. Back in there, buddy. We'll see if I can go across right here. Well, if you're coming, I suggest you follow me. All right. All right, guys, when we cross through there, just so we can fish this uh, bank line right here. You see the little pockets, little cuts. I know that's deep. This is really about as far as I plan to go anyways. So maybe, just maybe, there'll be some crappie up along through here that we can catch today. Keeper. There we go, guys. First keeper crappie. Nice, nice. Nice slab right there. He was on there for a while. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> Gavin slid up into my spot. <laughs> oh, so far. Yeah, maybe, maybe we got a hole right here in front of us. I knew I was getting thumped. Well, he about ripped my plastic off. Step over a little bit more. I get tighter to that hole. I think that's where they're at. It's up inside that hole right there. All right, guys, I'm gonna walk down here to what I believe is the back side of this hole that we're fishing and see if maybe the crappie are pushed over here to the back side because that's a possibility too. And we found the one on the front, but that doesn't mean they're all gonna be there. Granted, we did catch two there. Oh, missed him. There was one right there. I about pulled my body off there. Okay. Looks like we've got some right here in front of us. Maybe we find us another keeper. Hmm. There we go. Oh, he came off. That was another good one, dude. Crap. I had a slabber, dude. A 12 incher at least. Ah, crap. Got 
got that one. That's a good one. Is it? Yeah, this is a good fish, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Right there, folks. Fall slabs. I need that stringer, Gavin. <laughs> oh man, guys, he is gonna be tasty. There we go. This is number two for the stringer. This is all we're looking for, guys, is ones like this. I tell you what, I would have really liked to have caught the one that I lost because he looked even bigger than this one. There we go, guys. Two nice crappie. The boys are encroaching on me I lost a real good one in here so my guess is there's probably more of these big ones here that one's got him one down there a little one. see gavin knows just stay in your spot keep fishing you'll find fish they're probably all around too here Oh yeah, giant tree pounder, dude. Look at that. Oh boy, this might be my PB for the year. Biggest one, guys, look at that. I, I bet he goes 60, 70 inches. Yeah, and the rocks is... Oh, dude. Oh, dude, don't lose that. Dude, they're they're in here. I'm gonna have to I was just coming through there, guys. And look at that. Another another nice 12 inch. Hey, <laughs> Dang, dude. Hey, you headshot that time. Me and dad just seen a white flash and then out of nowhere. What's Everybody left their crappie gear at home. Oh no, I brought my crappie gear. Oh, I don't have it <laughs> Just a little guy, folks. They're still in here, though. You know, it's just uh, really hard to get them to go. But I tell you what, guys, I picked up the uh, pace I've been uh, reeling this in. So I actually brought this in fast, and he nailed that hard. So maybe we're just going at the wrong speed. Maybe we caught those couple slow when we first got here. And maybe we're just lucky. Oh, it's a white oh, it's bass. A white bass. Hey, right on. Another. I was reeling that one, Dad started reeling it fast. Then he told me that, like, all right, I'll reel it fast. This is my pull. Low tight speed. Let's go. Yeah, I think we're just working right. these jigs a little too slow. Garrett with a nice white bass. All right, caught this nice white bass on a, a jig head. Caught this oh. white bass. Oh, my God, that's a big crappie. And then Gavin comes with a big crappie. All right. Uh, all right, guys, we got a white bass. Yep, and a big Gavin's, crappie. Gavin's finally called him a good crappie. <clears throat> this stringer's starting to look pretty good. Hey, this is the other lure that I won in the tournament. How do we put the that battle one? Good one. All right, guys, that's four really nice 12-inch crappie. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start working our way back to the car so we can get a fire going, get these bad boys filleted, get them cooking. I'm getting hungry. I know the boys are hungry. We caught a few more bass, a few more little crappie, but I'm not going to add that in there. All right, guys. See you shortly. Hey guys, cockabriars, mud, you name it, we are in it today. But we got breakfast, not breakfast, lunch. lunch. We got lunch. I ain't going hungry today. Ooh, got thumped. Got him. Big crop. Okay. Another nice one, guys. Oh, dang, yeah. How I many we want to eat today? Stringer. Hey, we'll put some in the freezer if we yeah, have true. to. We're catching slabs like that right there, guys. Those are those are nice crappie. We wanna we wanna fry up a couple of these. Got a snake. Man, we couldn't even buy a crappie when we come through here earlier. We're up to two now. Gavin's is the one a little too small. <laughs> you can tell the difference there. It's just yeah. built like a bass. Yeah. 
All right, five on the stringer. No more than ten, guys. Where those two when we come up here? For real, though. Yeah, if anything, we'll just have more fish than that today. <laughs> We there we go oh that's a good good one yeah oh yeah big fighter big fighter oh, big yeah. fighter big fighter oh my god look dude. at that boys god dang that's the best one all day holy 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 the jeez <laughs> that's gotta be a 13 inch right there that's a donkey big old slabbers guys man he nailed it talk about some creek crappie fishing guys right there Oh, crazy. Well, yeah. Look at that one, Garrett. That's that's almost a wall hanger, bro. Jesus. <laughs> Good one. Can't even get it through his mouth here. There we go. Just a little crappie fishing, guys. All right. <laughs> yeah, look at that donkey. Very good one. Telling y'all guys, get out here in the fall time. You may have to put some work in, but man, you can find some good ones. All right, guys, a couple more on the way out. You know, you just can't beat these fall crappie, guys. Man, the big ones just really come out. I think we've got five or six on our stringer, but these are five to six really healthy crappies. All right, guys, we're gonna move on forward. Fish a little bit faster on our way up out of here. We're getting close to the car. I wanted to share this uh, beautiful bluff wall with you guys. All right, guys, enjoy. Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. You just give me a... All right, guys, that's a wrap on it. I know Gavin had a good time. I know Garrett had a good time. I had an absolute blast. I hope you guys had a good time too. If you guys enjoy these catching cooks, let us know in the comments. We'll do some more. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your fall.